So, dudes, wanted to do a little offhand commentary talking about the new Emerald Plains map and what the heck are people talking about when they say that it looks like Bartlett. This is a this is a common complaint that I've heard people say. The layout seems similar. The way that the actual structure of the map seems similar in terms of its physical geometry, in terms of its shapes. I I guess to a certain extent, sure. I believe that the floor plan is kind of similar in the sense that it's kind of a rectangular shaped building, and there's some quarters kind of connecting the uh, upper parts, especially on the on the second floor. But other than that, I really don't know what these people are talking about. I mean, even if it did have resemblance to Bartlett. I don't really care if it has physical resemblance to Bartlett as long as the map is competitively viable. And I don't think Bartlett was so beyond the pale of, of redemption that we couldn't do anything with the concepts from that map and apply them to a PvP map. Remember that Bartlett was a PvE map that was done for the Article 5 mission when this game was supposedly still going to have a much bigger co-op versus PvE experience and that didn't really happen. So, of course Bartlett wasn't good in a PvP environment. People were begging for that. People wanted Bartlett in the game as a playable map, and then they added it, and then everybody was like, Oh, I'm this map's so bad, why did Yubi do this? So at the time, it seemed like a very classic case of Siege Community Syndrome, right? Asking Ubisoft to do something, and then they do it, and then community gets mad after Ubisoft caves to pressure from the public, if you want to put it that way. I think there's a lot riding on this new map. I think there's a lot riding on Emerald Plains, and I don't know what it is with the internet that has caused people to force themselves to have a take. Force themselves to have a take about something before they have gathered enough information, right? Nobody says, I don't know. Everybody has to say, thoughts on this, thoughts on that, and you have to give a binary, good or bad, and that's it. And if you have the wrong assessment, if you say good, and there's a bunch of people that say it's bad, if you say bad, and there's a bunch of people that say it's good, well, you're an idiot. Bad take, shit take L, plus bozo, question mark, question mark, question mark, right? That's the typical internet form of communication. I don't know. I don't know if Emerald is bad or not. I haven't played on it enough to even have a, even formulate a competitive opinion on it. Like, will it turn out to be bad eventually? Sure. Maybe. But so far, I haven't seen anything that makes me go, oh, wow, this, this is dog shit. I'm, I'm not playing this in ranked. And I don't think people should do that in, in ranked either. I don't think people should ban it without at least experimenting on it and trying it out. And something that is a novelty about this game is that it has mechanics, destructive mechanics and gadget team play uh, interactions, mechanics that other competitive shooters just simply don't have. So, when you're playing on a map that you're really comfortable with, a lot of that kind of becomes rope memorization. There's not as much improvising. There's not as much working on the fly with your intuitive siege knowledge. Uh, at, at a certain point, the game becomes more focused on map knowledge and knowing what to do with this thing at this point. And when people don't know what's going on in Emerald Plains, it's a little bit more open. I, I personally feel that's a little bit more exciting and fun to play. There's a lot of rhetoric going around about Emerald Plains talking about how, well, it shouldn't have even gone in the rank pool without further testing. How the hell else are you going to test it? Anybody who understands the scientific method knows that the only way to draw conclusions about something, for example, let's say I want to see whether or not under these circumstances this thing is going to react in these ways, the only way to know, to, to formulate logical conclusions about it, is to have it tested in that environment, with all, any semblance of doubt that you can remove, removed. And that's what we're doing with Emerald Plains. We're putting Emerald Plains in ranked. If it's dog shit, then we take it out. We've done this before already. We, we've done this with Outback. We've done this with, with tons of ranked maps that were bad. Right? I, I really I really don't know what people expect of Ubisoft at this point. It, it seems very strange. Mainly because people can't seem to come up with anything empirical. They can't name exactly why certain aspects of a map are bad. Sometimes they can. Most of the time they can't. They just say it's bad or it's good. And then they just say L take and then don't, you know, refuses to elaborate, leaves. 
That's that's kind of that's kind of the siege community. It really feels to me like siege players just don't want to be outside of their comfort zone at all and aren't even willing to do ground game in terms of actually coming up with a conclusion for yourself and you know wait the, the wait and see approach, right? Nobody nobody does that. I'm guilty of it. I've come up with conclusions about balance changes to the game way too early. I'm doing my best to stop doing that. So I'm going to do that with Emerald Plains. And I encourage you to do so as well. I think the map has potential. I'm curious to actually start stratting on it. And I'm curious uh, as to whether or not I can make some content out of it. Short little ranty upload for Friday. Let me know what you guys think. Check out my Twitch channel. I try to stream every weekday. Twitch.tv slash Greg Havener. We'd love to see you there. Deuces.